Hi, I'm Kyle Johnson, Principal Trumpet at the Allen Philharmonic, and today I want to talk to you guys about articulation. Articulation is the way we start our notes. There are many syllables that you can use to start these notes. You could use ta, tu, da, du, and there's many others. The one thing they all have in common is they use the front of the tongue. Now, if I'm going to play something with a really strong tongue and a really strong articulation, I'm going to use a syllable like ta or tu, and it's going to sound something like this. Now, if I need something softer and more delicate, I may use a syllable like da or do, and it would sound like this. Now, when I'm playing multiple notes over and over, what I like to think about is I think of it as like skipping a rock on water. So if you think about it, to skip a rock on water, you first of all, you need the perfect rock, that nice flat rock. And then when you get that perfect throw, that rock is gonna go and it's gonna hit the water. It's not gonna go into the water. It's gonna hit the water and skip right back up. That's what your air and your tongue need to do, that you're going ta, ta, ta. So if you do it correctly, it should sound like this. Now, even with a stronger, more firm articulation, I could still have that same thinking happening. I could do this. So at no point am I letting that rock go into the water. What If I did, it would sound like this. And I don't want that. I want the rock to skip right on top of the water. Now, there's times when you might have to do a staccato tonguing. Now, by definition, staccato tonguing is separated. So as we separate these notes, the one thing I'm gonna think about is getting a nice, clean articulation, but I'm never gonna end the note with the tongue, all right? So we're just gonna go ta, 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 like this. Now, I'm still thinking of one airstream, though, as I do that. I'm still thinking ta, 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 all right? I'm not doing six different air streams. I'm doing one airstream, and I'm just breaking it up with the tongue. Now, a great exercise to do every day is to work on different articulations, different syllables, and all over the range because you'll notice that some syllables are harder to do lower and some harder, are harder to do higher. So the more you do them, the easier they'll get. So what I like to do is every day, I'll start off on a G and I'll play five Gs and I'll go. And I'll work my way down. it becomes a little bit more difficult because everything's opening up more. So then I try to get even lower. If I can articulate down to that low F sharp, then I know I'm going to be pretty good that day as far as understanding how to articulate. Now, the same thing applies as we get higher. and so on and so forth. And then remember to do different articulations. So you may do strong articulations once, and then think more of a da or do. Maybe staccato. So as we do these, you'll get better and better at them. So when you see them in music, you'll instantly know what articulation and what syllable you need to use. Good luck, guys. Bye.